This is New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee completed her training as a registered nurse from Southwest College in Los Angeles, California. She obtained her graduates as a physician assistant from Charles Drew University. She also has her PhD in nutrition from a natural health college in Birmingham, Alabama. We have an amazing guest, but please say hello to Dr. Lee. Hello, everyone. And the voice you just heard is my charming, beautiful daughter. I am so proud of her. She ha oh, holds Siobhan Cameron. Uh, Siobhan Lovett, we just have her stage name now, Siobhan Lovett, has her master's in clinical nutrition. So I am so proud to have her here with me, assisting me. Her segment of this wonderful show is going to be dealing with food and nutrition, supplement, disease-oriented as it relates to food. So her component to the show is so powerful, and we're just going to blend in together. So I'm so excited to have Siobhan Lovett here with us. Thank, Thank you, you Dr. so Lee. much. Thank you. Awesome. In, in studio, we have the famous Dr. Chi. Dr. Chi earned his PhD in biochemistry from Rutgers University. He is a researcher, an author, a teacher, and he is a developer of herbal formulations. He invented an intriguing form of tongue and fingernail analysis to detect a variety of elements within the human body. We are honored to have him with us today to discuss his famous fingernail and tongue analysis. Thank you. Oh, our pleasure. Such a pleasure to have you with us today, Dr. Chi. We have known each other for years as you are a pioneer at so many wonderful events, helping so many people. And one of the events is cancer control. You're there every year. And that's how we spend our Labor Day weekend. <laughs> My family is always on me about, you know, where are you doing Labor Day holiday? And I am at the uh, Cancer Control Society. And you are always there too, you and your lovely wife and family who support you so greatly. Thank you. I, you know, we want to start in because in medicine, I'm also a nurse practitioner, and in medicine, we do a physical examination, uh, which is really good. So we look at the nail, we look at the tongue, but you took it to a whole nother level dealing with Chinese medicine. And I am so proud of what you do, and it, you even hold classes to help teach other doctors, which is amazing. But we're going to kind of dive right in for you to tell me you know, let's just start off and you kind of tell me what does a normal tongue look like? Yeah, normal tongue should be the, you know, pink color, light pink color, <laughs> not much coating, and also no teeth mark, and no cracking in the tongue. Yeah, and then no any kind of black or red dots or cherry, uh, the strawberry dots, those things. Yeah, so that's the normal tongue showing there. That is the woman, 38 years tongue. You can see that's very good tongue. Mm -hmm, that's very nice and smooth yeah. and no cracks and, as you say, no indentations around the side yeah. because the tongue is like a map. You know, the further back you go on the tongue, it tells you what's going on as far as different areas of the body. Right. And then the tip of the tongue, which you're going to be going through with us. Right. So let's just go through now and talk about some of the markers that you really see in cardiovascular diseases. Okay, like the tongue right now is the uh, sinus allergy tongue. We, and uh, you see the geography tongue, white coating and the losing the pitches there. That's a sinus allergy tongue. Next one, you see this one is a serious one. You can see coating. The coating should be uniformly. When they see the coating is uh, so much and also peel off, the coating always in the in the root area, and uh, going to the tip. But they, the when they have so many coating thick, but when they really bad, they will peel off, not uniformly. Those kind of people is in dangerous situation, and they see their tongue so red. Red is inflammation. Okay, that's okay. the okay. tongue. The next one is going to cardiovascular. See? Oh, this is, uh, I tell you, so many people say my nail is uh, separated from my base. Just from there, that's not a fungus nail, not necessary. 
It mm -hmm. can be psoriasis, can be injury, can be any thyroid disease, and also very important can be drug interaction. Oh, uh, hurts the kidney. Yes, yeah. and it's amazing the information the body can tell you what's going on. And the sad, sadly about it, once it's surfaced to the skin, this is chronic. Yes. You know, it's chronic. Yeah. It's been going on for a long time once mm. it's surfaced to the skin. And a lot of times people say, well, I have these marks and this is happening, you know, and uh, I know you have one that shows the ear. And I just want to say we have your charts, yeah. you know, because I've been yeah. knowing you so long. And it's been yeah. amazing to correlate the charts with lab work. Yeah, so, you can see mm -hmm. this is the nail is concave. Yes. Like the nail can hold in a drop of the water. That's the typical anemia patient. Yes. Okay, so the next one you can see. You see, everybody should have a half moon in the nail. Nail should be transparent, can see through. And also in the bottom of the nail, should be a white half moon, like a lunar nail. Okay, but everybody should have the, for the, thumb, finger, all the way to the ring finger. Okay, but many people missing, missing the, this half lunar nail. That means their circulation blockage. So when they missing the lunar nail, they feel cold hand, cold feet, cardiovascular problem, fibrinogen may be high. But we don't want the moon in the pinky. That can be heart disease. Okay, but we saw, the nail, some people, the right, cell, right hand and the left hand, the, the moon is different. Okay. The, the, if one hand, the nail, less lunar nail than the other one, means that that side of the body circulation blockage it more. Put mm -hmm. like this one. This nail clubbing means nail tip go under. Yes. The center is go out. That's clubbing nail. Clubbing nail, always looking for lung and the heart. Yes. They occupy the maybe 60% of the disease in the lung and heart. The other 20% is cancer. Yes, and you know and the clubbing too, not to cut <coughs> you off, we see a lot in cardiovascular, like you mm -hmm. say, congestive heart failure. Yes. You know, people who are not getting enough oxygen to the lungs. So it's so important to see that. And I just want to ask my assistant here, Siobhan Lovett, do you have any uh, questions too as we go through this journey uh, talking to Dr. Chi? It's amazing as you look at the body and start to analyze various aspects. Me personally, as a clinical nutritionist, it's highly related to micronutrient deficiencies. And there are a lot of telltale signs. And one of the signs with clubbing is um, iron deficient anemia, everything that builds heme, um, zinc, so on and so forth. So it's amazing that you can actually correlate and identify how the body is presenting to what's going on internally. Just amazing, Dr. Chi. Yeah, so see the next one is ear crease. The ear crease means you have a required heart disease. It's 89% correlation, very important. So look at your ear, you don't want that deep crease, okay? And next one is very important, okay, Bauer's line. You see the line, each nail have the white indentation. That's no color, just a reflection. Thus, if you see the line come this, uh, only seen is a heart disease or poor nutrition. But in America, don't have a poor nutrition. It's always looking for heart disease. Okay, Bowes line. Okay, then you can see the next one. Very, very important. If you see the, your cherry angioma in the forehead or temple area, tell people you have a high chance to get a stroke or the any reason, you know. That means your uh, any the artery alpha receptor was a block, you know, the attack by estrogen, estrogen causing blood clots. So you can see if your family have the any reason or stroke, that you get the, the one more factor. But if you have hypertension, you have two to three powers. That's eight times than the average. You get a stroke or any reason. And also very important, when you see this one, you need to check your clinical the sign, blood marker. Next one you can see, you check your CRP, C-reacting protein. Yes. C-reacting protein should end the one, never over three. Then you check your homocysteine. Yes. Homocysteine is around the six. 
don't over 10. And also, you know, you need to check your, the, the blood, you know, viscosity, you know, those scene. And uh, you see very, very good correlation. They're like a vein line of the oxy power. They can reduce c reactin protein. Then the homocysteine, you can use uh, asparax extract of the vein line can reduce homocysteine. And the fibrinogen, you can reduce by vein line. Those yes. kind of number you yes. should look for. Mm -hmm. And the fibrinogen is so important too with all that. So it's just really important to correlate. Like this is not a one stop. So you just don't go look at the patient and look at the nails and the tongue and the ear. Like you said, you have to correlate that with lab work. Yes. And then you might have to do some other diagnostic tests. See, like Dr. Metcalf. Yes. Know, uh, they, he see the patient, the CRP is 16. You know what CRP 16 means? Means in the, within five years, they may die. But in this kind of case, you know, we can in three months bring them in around the one. They make it safe. Mm -hmm. That's yes. one. See, next one you can see. Then, okay, we have, and, and next one we'll go into hormone. So, yes. A, and I want to say too. And that's for estrogen, yes? Yeah, estrogen. Okay. Yeah. This is very, very important. If any woman have this red dot after 18 years old, means they're estrogen dominant. And that this kind of girl or woman easily go to endometriosis, over and cyst, and uh, eventually uterine fibroid, and uh, eventually, you know, fibrocyst breast, dense breast, or breast cancer, Correct. ovarian cancer. Yes. Yeah. This is very important. You know, For men, it's go to prostate problem. You know, and I, I really want to put some emphasis on that because now people are so inundated because of the uh, phytoestrogens in the food and the plastic is so high. So a lot of people are very, very toxic when it comes to estrogen levels, very high in their body. So this is such a great indicator. You know, if you're dry, if you, everybody should be looking at their tongue after seeing this tape today. And I tell people, you know, what you're saying is so valuable. And, and I tell people, why guess when you can know? So check it out, but also follow up with lab work. Yes. Follow up with a, with a practitioner. This is what we do also at New Wellness Healthcare. So we make sure that we do all your lab work also. But I want to say, I don't want to stop you, but I just want to let people know it's so important to do this. Yeah, you can see. When lab. you see your body have this cherry angioma, then this cherry angioma is means you estrogen dominant. You can see the right hand, that, that, that slide. The almost all the estrogen dominant breast cancer in the breast have these red dots. So this one, whoever see the red dots, you need to watch your S style. E2 should be under 30, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, your E3 should more than E1 plus E2. You can see next, next slides. Okay, this is the steroid biochemical pathway from the progesterone going to testosterone, go to estradiol. That's the main conversion. And uh, also, they can go into E1, s -tron. And uh, also, they can, from DHEA, go to the s -tril. Estrogen have three kinds, E1, E2, E3, s yes. strong s style s -tril. But remember, the E3 is good one, E1, E2 is bad one. But you always need E3 more than E1 plus E2 together. Okay, so means you need, a, we can use a supplement, Myomi. Myomi is naturally can, you know, block the DNA expression aromatase, especially block E2 and some E1. So once you do this one, you make your E3 more than E1 plus E2. So you, if you have this one, you never have estrogen dominated product condition. Next slide, you can see. Any woman, estradiol high, test est uh, estrogen caution, Okay, it's a law. We need, a, we can balance and improve that. And uh, any woman have a fibrocyst breast, dense breast, ovarian cyst, uh, endometriosis, uterine fibroids, you can use Myomi, you can converge, convert that. And the men, we want to use Myomi, make your testosterone up, the estradiol go down, and then make your PSA go down. And also your prostate, testicle, and also men have a gynecomastia, like a main booze always, always go down, and the belly fat go down very fast. 
and also people have a liver cyst, kidney cyst, thyroid cyst, or nodules. Most things are high estrogen. Your yes, myomin are. block that. Yes. Your cyst go down. And also insulin resistant people, always high estrogen. So diabetes people, you can put the myomin in, make it, you know, with your drug, you know, and you, your A1C number will go down very fast. Anybody, body fat cannot go down. Remember, estrogen may be high, just yeah. my own. Means. And I, I don't want to cut you off, but that particular product we've been utilizing in our clinic forever. Yeah. You know, it is a very, um, and the thing about it, we can test it. Yes. You can test it out with lab work, and you'll see yeah. the difference. And we have a machine in our office where we do uh, infrared. It's a CRT thermograph with 119 acupuncture points. So I test men for early stages of cancer also. And they normally have a high estrogen level too right. because they have gonomastia with the men. So this is so important to get them started on a product like this. Yeah, it, see the next thank slide you. you can see. The woman, you know, have the over cyst. Then check their E1, E2, E3. In that time, the E3 is still it's still more than E1 plus E2. So the EQ is two, nine divided 4.5, two. But you can see after a few years later, then E3 go under because they keep, you know, converging E2 higher. They make it E1, E2 higher than E3. That time, doctor put the myomi in, you can see E1, E2 will go down and E3 go up. And the old ovary is clear, as yes. balance, oh, you don't yes. get trouble. We've okay. seen this happen by yeah. repeating the lab work after they've been on the product. So, yeah. and the fiber tumors start to yeah, shrink. Yeah, you too. can see next one. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, like a Dr. Fox, he give a patient the uh, myomin. And this guy, he's, uh, he losing 35 pounds in one year. The body fat go down. But you can see his uh, estradiol level from and above normal, 34, down to normal 24, but his testosterone from 300 go up to 600, and the free testosterone also go up, and A1C number also go down. So you can exactly to do that, yeah. Okay, this is wonderful. And um, do you have any questions at this point? Um, Siobhan, love it. As I listen, it is amazing. Um, your product has been used for a number of years at New Wellness Healthcare. One of the key elements, it's also making sure me as a nutritionist, is that it's coupled with diet that I remove certain invaders that are impacting how your hormones are balanced, um, again, lifestyle. But when we think about your product, it is at the forefront of a lot of our protocols. When we think about the human body in general, anytime you can analyze the body to determine what's going on internally, it's always the key. Yes. And one thing I admire about you, Dr. Lee, is that you always ensure that analysis from biochemistry to visuals, full histories are being taken. We know that there's very aspects and very various layers that comes to our health and healing. But I think it's amazing. I've, I've always been very impressed with everything that you've done, Dr. Chi. You can see next one. Many people use a hormone replacement therapy. Correct. Even bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Yes. Jonathan Wright most famous uh, medical doctor, he always say, use BHRT, you need to be careful. If you have insulin resistant people, you know, your testosterone convert to estrogen very fast. Whenever you take testosterone, your testosterone convert to estrogen, like this man take testosterone, his testosterone up, same time estradiol also up. That will cause the PSA to go high. So you put the myomi in two months, your testosterone still in the high, but the, your estradiol level sharply go down, make you safe. This is why you use BHRT. You always need to put the myomi in to prevent the, the conversion testosterone to, to estradiol too much and causing eventually cancer. Yeah, and, and you're absolutely right. That entire cascade has to be properly managed, especially when you're dealing with exogenous hormones. Our bodies were not designed to take it in. We have to understand the natural age process and foster that. That's always my theory. We don't want to force the body to do, to do something it wasn't designed to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. I just want to say, you can, <clears throat> I, it just, it's just amazing. And I, I'm hoping that people are taking notes. Um, this will be uploaded on YouTube 
our YouTube channel, which would be Dr. Lee TV, I'm sorry, New Wellness TV with DrLee.com on our YouTube channel. Um, so you'll be able to share this. Please share this with your family because it's so important that people know these are some things that you can start um, pay, it and pay attention to by just going in the mirror and you're looking in the mirror, look at your tongue and, and start because you have these symptoms. You start feeling tired and you don't know why you're feeling tired, not knowing it could be a hormone uh, imbalance. But certain things you can start looking at your body and detecting things early yourself because there's so many things happen to our bodies that are under the heading of a silent killer and we have no symptoms we have nothing to show so it's so important that you start checking yourself out thoroughly on a daily basis because sometimes people will say oh I didn't know I had that little dot there I didn't know I had uh, um, discoloration I didn't know my tongue was shaped like the picture that's on the screen now I didn't know these things so I just want to say um, this will be on our YouTube channel so that you can share this. Please share this with your family because the way we can help each other and save lives is by sharing, 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 and each one teach one. We have to do that with our families and with our communities. See, I agree. See, coming this one is a teeth mark in the tongue, the, you know, in the uh, side that you have indentation. That means what? means insulin resistance. Means when you, after you digest food, the food don't transport the, the right place to go. And the, when you see this one, you will see you have hyperglycemia. When you're hungry, if you don't eat, you feel dizzy, shaky, no energy and the crunch. Oh, you, the more you eat, the more you feel tired. After a big meal, you like go to sleep. Those people check your A1C number. Your A1C, if for Older people should under 5.6, but you st if you're only 30, you need an under 5. Okay. Dr. Chi, have you noted that with this indentation in the tongue that there are some problems with the permeability of the GI? Yes. They always relate that, you know, your food don't transport the right place. Mm -hmm. So the digestion, every, every other thing, but you can see this one now. That's, if you see the neck, you have a different uh, color wrinkles that call the I can say so, so Niagara can. That's typical for the people have insulin resistance. The for diabetes or women have a PCOS or the fatty liver. But if you see the skin tag, skin tag, 80% insulin resistance, 50% is the colon polyps. Okay, okay. so you remember those markers. So when you have the the you know, a cancerous Niagara can in the leg or in the arm pit here. Always remember, check your A1C, check your estrogen, and check your fatty liver. Yes. Okay. So next one you can see, we're talking liver. Your liver, underneath of tongue, you should be only one vein, but very light color. In the children, you don't see any color. But when you see the blue color, means your circulation need to be the less oxygen, more carbon dioxide. But when you see the, the, the vein split, that's liver congestion. Very, ex, very, very important. When you see the button of the tongue in there, if you see two or three vein, you know, in each side, the high chance go to liver cancer, yes. liver cancer. Mm. So look at this. I, in my book, I all talk in this, this thing you can read. Exactly. Yes. And, and you know, I wanted to say too, you know, that, so a person really understand that last slide was under the tongue. Yeah, you know, it, tongue. you can see that, but you know, I want them to really raise their tongue and take a look at it. Now, I just want to ask a question. Back on the um, chart, when the body is going through a healing phase, now, does that will start to decrease under their tongue, correct? Yes. Yeah, if as you they do, start to healing. If you do circulation to get liver chi, these two together, vein line and this liver chi, your tongue should be really gradually clear. Yes. I know this is, you know, very, you know, spy, a spider vein and the dark color. Okay. And then for emphysema patient, this vein will be black color because they lack of oxygen. Yes. Okay, use liver chi, you can see. Your AST, ALT go down, and the, the hepatitis virus tighter. If you have a hepatitis C, hepatitis B, the tighter will go down. Mm 
and also the junk that is go down. And also remember, whenever you have the taste bitter, is the liver or go play the problem. Bitter taste. Bitter taste in bitter your mouth. Bitter taste in the mouth or dry, dry mouth. These two together, definitely liver or go play the problem. And liver chi will do very well for hepatitis C, RNA virus replication and expression in mm -hmm. six days. Your energy is starting to go up. Okay, so we have a debile, can clean your gallbladders. Okay, look in this one, stomach problem. When you look at your tongue, you know, look in the center of tongue, of cracking. Cracking is GI problem, stomach or digestion problem. Okay, the, if you see the cracking deep in two millimeter, you are more have chance go into ulcer, stomach ulcer. But look in your ear, Ear is very important. Outer ear, you don't want the nodules, lump come. That's maybe going to the stomach problem or the the esophagus problem. If the people miss, missing the lunar nail, I mentioned everybody should have a lunar nail. If people missing two or three moon, the lunar nail each side, with the 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 nodule in the outer ear there. They may even go into stomach cancer or the esophagus cancer. But if you see you have a AC reflex and that you cannot swallow, that's definitely go to esophagus cancer. If you have a suddenly pain in the stomach area, go to stomach cancer. Of course, you can check your, you know, your cancer marker. You also can do it so many, you know, Blood the, tests. Yeah, test. And you know. diagnostic tests. Too. Yeah. Yes. That we do at New Wellness Healthcare. We yeah. do run a full analysis to ensure that what we're looking at or what we assume it is, it is that. Yeah. And we do have wellness protocols to address that. Yeah. Yes. If you see the nail have the black line, even only one black line showing, that is the internal bleeding. So if you have this, this kind of stomach blockage and this one, means stomach esophagus bleeding. When you do any endoscopy, you want the prevention, you want to check, please, you take the angel stop before you go, because I don't want you have tumor already. You touch and the snap, the, take the, the biopsy, you may cause cancer spread. Correct. So yes. you can see next one slide is very important. Look in the phenolunar line between your gun and the upper lip. You don't want to see any kind of nodules cyst there. That means colon polyps chance, 72%. Anybody have this one, if you don't have, you don't have a, the moon in the nail, you may go into colon cancer. But when you go to colonoscopy, do that, take angel stop before. Prevent the, if you have cancer, they snap the cancer spread. So this is all the area I want to teach you to do, and in my book, talking very detailed. Yes. Yes, yes. it does. Yes. Well-written book, and I do suggest listeners obtain that book. You have to take control over your health. When you have wisdom such as what Dr. Chi has perfectly demonstrated here during this interview um, and well put in his book, it gives you that control once again to understand what your health is doing, to understand what your body is doing, because the only power that we truly have is the power of choice. And when you decide to be healthy and you decide to take control of your health, it's his analysis, this tongue analysis, the fingernail analysis that can give you some of that power. Yeah, look in this slide. It's called a half and a half nail, mm -hmm. means a half the, you can see nail is no moon. That's a big white. It's a half nail. It's turned white. Mm -hmm. Half is the pink, a dark color. Those kind of also called a terrace nail. That's most people looking for autoimmune disease or the kidney problem. You can see next one. See this is called the American line. See the if in every nail have the white line. Those kind of people, kidney problem. I just mentioned that terrace nail also can be IgA nephritis, kidney problem. But this kind of, you know, the white line cross all over the nail, that's the American line. Also, we can have a mis line, mis line. That's also the white line. But this 
terrorist, this terrorist line, more IG-8, autoimmune causing the kidney problem. But Merkel line, that's mostly the kidney disease, the, the urine protein. When you see this kind of nail, you quickly check your kidney function. You know, BUN level, the creatine level, and the EGFR, coronary the filtration rate. You know, yes. because those rates, usually they say 60, and the 60, too low. I want everybody 80, 90s. Don't Correct. go to 60. Optimum under. levels. Yes. yes, most definitely. Yeah, you can see, when you see this one, you're always looking, do you have a, you, when you urination, you're causing bubbles or not. You don't want the foaming in the urine. That means you're losing protein or uric acid. You also don't want the worst thing is in the morning when you wake up, puffy face. That's your kidney function, 50% or almost gone. You don't take care now, you go into kidney dialysis. You know, I just want to add uh, <clears throat> several patients of mine called because they had read your book. Yeah. And they said, you know, I'm having all these foamy bubbles in the urine. And I hadn't seen them in a long time. I said, come in right away. Let's do some tests. Let's check you out and see what's going on with the kidney. Because they were taking medication that was actually um, had an adverse reaction to the kidneys. So we were able to go ahead and check out all their lab. And because they caught this early, because of the book they were reading and said, I have all these bubbles, you know, it was able to keep them from going on dialysis. So I just want to thank you so much. That was very powerful. It was coupled with genotyping to yes. determine that that medication <clears throat> genetically wasn't designed for them. Well, they didn't know that at first. Know, at first. Yes. <laughs> I always teach my grandson, four years boy, when he, after Yuri, I say, check how many bubbles you have. When you have the bubble, <laughs> go to drink water. You don't have enough water. So he, he learned. He always say, <laughs> it's the time the mom, mother say, Oh, this today I don't have a bubble. I took enough of water. <laughs> yeah. So this is a learn. The kids yes. can learn. It's yes. powerful. Yeah. That it you is. do start young. Yeah. Yes. You know, and the, uh, so many medical doctors come to see me doing this one. Sometimes I just see this, the teeth mark so strong. I say, you also look in your, have, you know, uh, water, it, uh, uh, attention, uh, water retention or not, edema. Yes. So I check there, you know, the shine area. Uh -huh. see the, Any the pitting edema? Pitting edema mm -hmm. there. You can see kidney program, you use asparagus. You can reduce your creatinine, you know, and the cordyceps, you reduce the BUN, and the kidney chi, urine protein, and the UTI, kidney stones, and the gout, and the best detox is one kind of hot bath powder put in. You reduce edema, BUN, creatinine, and also I skin wanna edema. I want to say that is the most powerful detox bath. You know, people love it. And we see, it's like a dialysis for the feet. And it's such an amazing treatment. I just want to say that is so wonderful. And I love drinking the asparagus tea. Yes. It's just, just to keep the body healthy. You know, you don't have, I don't have those problems, but I've had a, a line of situations in the past. But I want to say to just stay healthy, you know, and keep your lab. Because those are lab tests that I check on myself because of my own history of being in two comas and a lot of people know my history. So I have to make sure that I keep myself healthy because yes. we live in a bubble of toxins right now, yes. a slew of toxins. So I want to say, but that detox bath uh, is just absolutely amazing. You can see this one. This, this nail is a blue color around the lunar area. That's called the azuria nail. That's a heavy metal. Anybody see this kind of nail means heavy metal so much. Then you can take the, the metal flush and with the, the best detox. You do clean your bodies uh, the, the, like a, a, a lead, mercury, uh, so, so much. You can see next slide. Is yeah. there a Academy. preparation before you start moving heavy metals out of the body? Do you check um, the liver, the kidney to ensure it's You see this properly. one, you can look in underneath of tongue also, see any red dots sprayed or black spots. Okay. They're also metallic taste, you see. Yeah. They you can use a flush, the oral chelation, they do so well. You know, if the people don't want to go to chelation by the IV, IV? you right. can use this way. This is, safe. this is safer. This safer. Is safer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also, you can see, doing really great with, and many people, ADHD people, high, you know, late, especially 35% of the American kids is high late. 
you can use this one for three years old you can start to use this one you right. do very well, well we know we have the major problem with lead yeah. in certain states right now yes. and actually there are certain cities even in los angeles and in california that the housing authority has deemed those areas to be very very high in lead yes yeah. Uh, so many late causing the liver disease or even cancer. Yeah. Yes. So you can use metafresh, remove the the late and make the liver function return normal. Yes. Very useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I will tell you, very important, a very special in the cancer. So anybody remember the your nail should be have a each nail uh, each hands have a full nail have the white lunar nail half moon and uh, also you don't want the teeth mark okay if you have your only thumb have a lunar nail and also teeth mark you see 80 percent of cancer patient is uh, this have this too okay if you have this one you need a really correction they can prevent the cancer let me see tell you what's the relation next slide you see the American people when you're 40 years old, 40% of the women, they already have a breast cancer microscopy. Mm -hmm. And the 50 years old men, prostate cancer microscopy. And the 70 years old, everybody, thyroid cancer microscopy, they're waiting. They're waiting for angiogenesis. Mm -hmm. What means angiogenesis? When you're missing the moon, then you're cold. When you cold, your body will try to make angiogenesis, make a newly formed blood vessel. Right. See, like in the slides, you see the left side, see the cancer cell microscopy is there. But when they want to grow, they need a newly formed blood vessel, go there, give the nutrition. To mm -hmm. feed it. So yes. you can see those like a VEGFR, EGFR, those kind of growth factor, IGFR, insulin growth factor, they will go in there. Make it uh, once there, the newly formed blood vessel angiogenesis hit the cancer. Cancer grow crazy. Yes. So you need to block that. So how do you know? You need your body warm. You need uh, this moon going come back. Use vein light. Your moon will come back if you don't have cancer. Very useful. And okay. I just want to say, you send vein line that people realize that is a product. Yeah. Yeah. Not not a diagnosis. Vein yeah. light is a product. Yeah. They can make your help. circulation yes. do good. Mm -hmm. You can see. When you want to prevent the cancer, treat the cancer, you need a, not a chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is too toxic. It kills the normal cells sometimes. You need anti-angiogenesis. Yes, yes, Then exactly. we have a C cucumber extract one called yes. the angiostop. They can block the, the newly formed blood vessel, make your VGFR, EGFR, FGFR, PTGFR, and the IGFR all go down. That's why we're talking IGFR, insulin growth factor, because insulin high for insulin resistant people, they want to digest your sugar, you know, the carbohydrate. They must be have more insulin. If you have more insulin, you causing more cancer. But you can see this picture first. Angiostar can block the the newly formed blood vessel with angiostar. Without angiostar, you can see tissue culture. You can see the 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 blood newly formed blood vessel, go down. Next one you can see. In the most simplest terms, starving out that microscopic cancer because it has no ability to feed. Yes, <laughs> Fox <laughs> News <laughs> last year talking, you know, the sea cucumber reduce cancer. But you can see, we use angiostop as sea cucumber, they can reduce the old five different receptor, all the cancer protein we can control very well. You see next one. See, this is mechanism. All the cancer cells outside have those receptors, growth factor receptor. The endostop CQ cucumber extract can block those, those things. We have uh, many publications. Then the ends where well in the nucleus, there the proliferation will stop. They also in the left side, you can see, they're going downstream to the all the way to the caspase three and the seven. These mm -hmm. two protein, they can increase that, make a cancer apoptosis. Exactly. Very important. Next one you can see. Okay, all the cancer cell starting out microscopically. See the breast cancer, prostate cancer, and the also thyroid cancer. What they have one thing in common? 
or high estrogen. Correct. Yes. So you need a controlled estrogen. You said Miami reduced estrogen. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one you can see. Can I just uh, add something? Yeah. Um, because of uh, history of several people mm -hmm. who had uh, additional thyroid tumors and cysts after having CT scans. So now I'm telling people they should take something like this because of the side effect. And they could say, no, it doesn't happen. But I know for a fact because it happened to me. Nine thyroid tumors after CT scans. Mm -hmm. So what I tell people, you want to do prevention if you need to have this done. So prevention t for this not to develop later. Because we know, too, if you have mercury in your mouth, a good thing to remove heavy metal, it's going to go into thyroid tissue. The, it goes through the optic, nerve, the optic nerve of the eye. Nobody was wearing glasses until they start doing mercury filling into our mouth because the vapor, every time you eat something hot or cold, goes into the optic nerve of the eye. And then the rest of it settles into the thyroid tissue. I was told through Dr. Huggins, Al Huggins, a, a pioneer who recently passed, that there were no endocrine problems with thyroid until they start doing mercury fillings. Yes, the, heavy, the thyroid gland is the most easy accumulated heavy metal. Yes. Like a Hashimoto disease. Mm -hmm. It's an autoimmune disease, but it also can be triggered by heavy, heavy metal. metals. Yes. So we use a metal flash for Hashimoto disease people. But you can see the estrogen, also the one, thyroid, high estrogen. Look at this one. Yes. This is a breast cancer. I mentioned all the breast cancer, if estrogen dominant, see the red dot. This one. Okay, next one you can see. Even the, the breast cancer, prostate cancer, thyroid cancer, all have the, this kind of strawberry dots. And the, sometimes the indentation in the teeth mark there. See, this is uh, the, the breast cancer and the thyroid cancer, prostate cancer at the top. Next one. You see, anybody have insulin resistance. This one, I mentioned, insulin resistance is really the, the one marker make the cancer chance high. Next one. That's why I, we always know cancer people don't take drug, uh, don't take sugar, even honey. No, 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 no sugar. sugar because no. they make insulin high. You see, mm -hmm. this uh, all kind of cancer, they increase how much times of the different the cancer, liver cancer, colon cancer, the uh, breast cancer, threefold, the endometriosis cancer, 48 times higher insulin risk the people high. And the also lung cancer, colon cancer. So re really, also, if your family, your cousin, two degree, the, the really cousin have the, the endometriosis cancer or the breast cancer or ovarian cancer, if the woman, you have this chance very high. But if you men, your colon cancer also high. Yes, colon cancer is a high estrogen also. The lung cancer also high aromatase enzyme. Mm -hmm. A related estrogen. That's why women, three times the men, get the lung cancer. It's estrogen dominant. Yes. Okay, like this one is liver cancer. See how many veins in the bottom there. But in left side, stomach cancer, but they are white coating all over, low immunity. The crack in the center, they mask them. Mm -hmm. But if you can make it then crack, you see the inside of a crack, very strong. Okay, next one you can see, I show you. This is colon cancer. Lung cancer, you know, there we we treat them. This this guy have a colon cancer and the lung cancer both. It's a separate cancer. It's not a metastasis. We use angiotensin control very well. Four years doing so well. Next one. See, lung cancer. Always remember, clubbing, nail clubbing. clubbing. Yes. Thirty percent, twenty percent, lung cancer. Okay. Next one. Okay. This is a male clinic published that if you have a nail clubbing, you know, how much you relate to lung disease. Mm -hmm. So you always yes. lung disease to the uh, heart disease. Okay. Yes. Next mm -hmm. one. The, oh, this is very important. See this guy. This is called a triangle nail. If anybody is triangle nail, in the bottom is a narrow, half is a triangle. These people have a blood disease. You always look at your grandparents, to parents, to your auntie, two degrees cousin. If anybody have anemia and the bone marrow disease, poly, you know, 
many uh, the bone, uh, multiple myeloma or the the heart, uh, lymphoma or leukemia. This is the lymphoma patient. Okay, very important. I usually, when I see this one, I can, in 10 people see this one, one or two people, they already have the blood disease. And the two or three people will tell you, oh, my brother have cancer, the lymphoma, leukemia, or oh, this one, very important, this, this nail. Next one. See, if you see the nail have black strap, that's melanoma come. When the melanoma can be in situ, in the nail, in the there, they grow really like this one. If you see this black line, you need a biopsy. If you see, you don't wait in for this way, the right side. If you're waiting for this one, they can really cut your toes. But the left one, you need to check your body. Have any other place they can go to brain, can do the, you know, inside the lung. So this is a very important sign. Right. Well, we're going to be wrapping up in just a moment, but I just want to tell people, if you had a chance to listen to this entire, entire video, keep in mind, this is not a death sentence. There is help for you. So we're bringing you this information so that you know that you can, you have a chance to heal, not to just giving you all this information on cancer, cancer, cancer. Nobody really wants to hear that. Because sometimes people would tell me they wanted to bypass your booth a cancer control because you were the cancer doctor and they didn't want to hear it. But you need to hear this. You need to hear it so that you have a starting point and know what to do. When you find things early, you can take care of it. Just like we do at New Wellness Healthcare with our CRT machine, uh, we can find things early before it shows up on a mammogram, before it shows up on an ultrasound. And the sad thing about it, Dr. Chi, there's a condition now called inflammatory breast cancer that is not even detected with um, a mammogram or uh, uh, ultrasound. So using infrared that we do in our clinic, and I just want to say that I am so grateful that the company gave us this $25,000 machine so that we're able to offer this screening for free. Yes. We can offer this for free to find it out early. Then we can start him on start people on Dr. Chi's products so it does not develop. So there is hope for you, and you don't have to suffer. I'm a, I don't even like the word survivor of colon cancer years ago because of the steps that I chose to take and lifestyle changing and what I eat, drink, and think will also has a lot to do with that. So I just want to say I appreciate you being here today. I don't want people to leave thinking that there was no hope for them. There is hope. Guess, best believe, putting God first is number one. Yes. There is hope for you. So I just want to thank you so much for bringing so much valuable information to the public, to the world, because this is going worldwide. And again, if you, you know, share this video with your friends, it will be on our YouTube channel. Thank to Jarvis. I want to thank you, and you be in a radio, TV. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much, Tony Sweets. I know you're listening. Thank you so much for thank allowing you. us to have this opportunity to um, have a platform to be able to disseminate information to help people to heal. It's just truly been a blessing, and I thank you so much. Thank Tune you. Tune in Dr. next Lewis. week. Thank you, Tune in next week. We have more guests and more information to keep us healthy and living longer. What a blessing. Thank you so much. And I want to end this with people saying this. Say it after me. Say it loud. Say it proud. I am. I am. I am. So grateful. So, so grateful, grateful. That I am. That, that I, I am. A magnet. A magnet. For miracles. For miracles. Bless everyone. In the future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBNRadio.com.